Mostly Solar Film last night. It's awesome, man. Oh, Good fine. Job. Well, thanks for checking it out. Seriously, it. everybody loved it. It was just uh, really. I didn't read into the film like you know plot lines. Sure. You can look it up online because yeah. I really wanted to be surprised. And uh, boy, was I surprised. Oh, good, good job. Congratulations. Thanks, man. That's so nice of you. What drew you to the story? I, I think, you know, for me, uh, reading an original story is so rare these days. And, right. and to read a, a story that touched on the beauty and growing old was just something I couldn't pass up. I mean, we live in a, especially in this town, we live in a world that's so consumed with youth and vanity um, that, that a, a movie about the beauty of growing old was just, uh, you know, touching and romantic and... Um, said something about the beauty in our, you know, and a, a short, the short little time we get here. You know, it's it's funny that you mentioned that because it actually drew a couple of chuckles from some of the ladies in the audience. There were parts when she was, you know, and she said, "And I want to grow old." The ladies like, "Really? No yeah. way!" <laughs> so I mean, you accomplished that. It was really kind of funny to hear that reaction. Oh, good. Oh, good. But you know, it's also a life story. Yeah. And uh, there's so many dynamics that play into this film. Are you? I, we're not preaching, of course, in this no. film, but it is a life story in, yeah. in, a, in a sense. Do you I, agree with that? Absolutely. No, I mean, I think um, you know, it was it was important to kind of not only get a sense of why this might be more a curse than a blessing, but also uh, to enjoy the journey that this woman goes on. That we, we get to see her live over a century, and we get to delve into, you know, these vignettes of the '30s and the '40s and the '50s. And and for me, that was a lot of fun as a filmmaker to recreate those those little worlds, but also uh, as, a, as a fan and as an audience member, it's, it's fun to travel back in time. I'm, I'm, I grew up thinking Back to the Future was sort of the perfect movie and um, was the movie that made me want to make movies. And part of it was that journey that you get to go back to the 50s with Marty McFly. Do you remember the film Somewhere in Time? Yeah, of course. And that that kind of, I felt that way a little bit with this one. Obviously, yeah. they're different stories. Sure. But after the film, I saw it. I was like, I kind of thought about that, which one is one of my favorites. Yeah. Christopher Reeve. Of and, course. Of course, in that one, yeah. No, I, I think, I mean, there's a lot of movies, um, that, you know, even Big uh, is a movie we, we talked about because you have this sort of one fantasy hook, and then the rest of the movie is really played, uh, it's, it's so grounded and, and really about the emotional, you know, uh, journeys of, of the of the characters so we were um, there was a few movies so especially from the 80s they seem to touch on stories like this a little bit more than they do now perhaps so following up with the fact that I really didn't research too much because I really mm -hmm. wanted to be surprised with the yeah. movie when Harrison Ford comes on the screen I looked over at my buddy I'm like whoa because I didn't realize he was in the film oh good so you were genuinely surprised I was like wow and oh, he great. nailed his role oh thanks I mean yeah, fantastic job but how do you direct a guy like Harrison Ford you know I, I, it's a question I get a lot and I, I understand it I mean I, I was admittedly a bit nervous because I mean I grew up idolizing him and mm -hmm. and he's uh he's you know i think a hero to a lot of people who grew up in the 80s like i did um for me it was it was actually surprisingly easy because harrison is a incredibly warm guy who has do, been doing this so long he he understands the benefit of leaning on a on a director or or going to a director to say you're watching the whole thing i'm just involved in my little moment um so so for me it was actually quite easy because harrison was so warm and invited me as the director in and, and really wanted to work on it together, which, which you know, was was among the biggest honors of my life to be able to work with him on this. Did he give any Star Wars secrets? I'm kidding. No, sadly, <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish. Hey, man, good Thanks job. So I can't wait for